Round two of the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East is held at the Dubai Autodrome. The 4.3 kilometer long international course configuration promises pure race action with 18 all new 911 GT3 Cup cars on the grid. Drivers from 11 nations, including the UAE, Bahrain, Kuwait, and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, fight for the podium. After Clement Schmidt of Al Nabuda Racing produced two wins out of two in Bahrain, the other top drivers are determined to end his winning streak. Among them is the former champion Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa of Team Bahrain in his first appearance of the season. Zayed Ashkanani of Busaid GT hopes to win his first race this season after scoring second place twice in Bahrain. The starting grid of race one sees champion Clement Schmidt and teammate Karim Alazari of Al Nabuda Racing on first and second position. Kuwait's Zayed Ashkanani starts from third. After a flawless start, the race has to be stopped after an accident in the crucial first corner. A collision between Mohamed Matar of Team Bahrain and Austria's Manfred Ender causes Ender's car to flip. I came to turn three and I saw Matar went wide, so I took my line and then he came from outside and hit me on the back side of the car and then I flipped three times and that's it. The car is totally wrecked. Luckily nothing happened to me. The restart proceeds without any incidents. Clement Schmidt holds on to the lead. Karim Alazari manages to defend second position. A collision in corner three, and Zayed Ashkanani is suddenly out of the race. His car is towed to the pits, ending the Kuwaiti's hope for another podium position. Team Skydive Dubai Falcons in their debut on home territory fight for positions in midfield. Qualification saw Hasha Al Maktoum and teammate Syed Al Mehairi on 10th and 11th position. But they managed to gain several positions during the race, ending up on 6th and 8th place. Karim Al Azari feels the pressure from Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, but manages to keep his second position until the finish line. I had to keep cool. Uh, I know the track well and I used everything I know the whole entire race. Had some nice uh, smoking tires coming into turn 14, but uh, I think I did what I had to and uh, the result shows. I'm very happy. Uh, Karim's a very respectable racer. We have a lot of respect for each other and uh, yeah, that's the way we race. Uh, if the gap is big enough, we'll take it. But if, if it's uh, gonna take both of us out, it's uh, really uh, pointless. Clement Schmidt controls the race from pole to checkered flag and takes home another win on Al Nabuda's home turf. Tried to get away, but they were driving the same times like me, so they were really quick behind me. It was a tough race. Al Nabuda Racing extends their lead in the race for the team title, and Clement Schmidt heads the table of the Drivers' Championship followed by Hasha Al-Maktoum and Karim Al-Azari.